I mentioned a few minutes ago that we're flatlined after that, no more growth, right? Let's look at what, what would be the reason for that. Just so you know, this hallway with all these pictures, this is kind of New Skin's hallway of fame, or wall of fame. Every single one of these people that you see a picture is making at least a half a million dollars a year residually. Okay? And most of them created their wealth in that first wave, 1989 to 1994, 95, 96. But here's my question. What's the promise of network marketing? Why is Jake so passionate about this? Why am I so passionate about this? What's the promise? It's just going to keep going. It's going to keep going, and then what do we get back if it keeps going? We get our lives back. Okay? We now have the opportunity to have time and money at the same moment. Very few people experience time and money together, so that you understand. There's a lot of people that have no time and no money. We call those students. Does that make sense? And there's some people, or employees, really. Okay? No time, no money. Okay? There's some people that have lots of time and, and, and no, excuse me, some people have lots of money and no time. Okay, those would be professionals. Okay, people like myself. People that own their own businesses. There are some people that have no problem. How are you guys today? Good. There's some people that have lots of um, um, what's my fourth parameter? No money, no time. Lots of time, no money. Lots of money, lots of time, no money. Lots of time, no money. Who are the lots of time, no money -ers? Guys, That's the guys on welfare. Your writers, a bum in the street. You know what I mean? And then there's a chosen few, and this is all Kiyosaki. You can go look it up. Okay? There's a chosen few that have time and money together. Usually they have big, big, big businesses, networks of big businesses. But the bottom line is the allure of network marketing. Come on, you guys. Okay. Zip right back. The allure of network marketing is, is that if you build an asset, that asset will continue and you can technically have your life back and you can retire. So here's the better question. Brandon, if you were making $50,000, $100,000 a month that came in every single month, whether you got out of bed or not, okay, because that's what residual passive income is, would you continue to travel all across the world working your absolute butt off to build a bigger network? Now, you're probably the wrong person to ask, but truly. No, probably not. No. Okay? And I don't know what the number is for most people, but bottom line, if you're making 50 grand a month, do you realize how much that is in the bank? A lot. It's a lot. Okay? It's you would have to have, well, well, let's do the math. Half a million divided by 5%. You know, we started with this math earlier. $10 million in the bank kicking you out, interest at 5%. Okay? Pretty impressive if you think about it. So that you understand, by 1996, most of these people were retired. What happens to a company, okay, when their top brass, their top leaders disappear? They tend to die, actually. I guess so. They sh we should have died. Why didn't we? Because that's important to understand as well, Jake. Skincare company. Why didn't New Skin die? People continued to buy the product. I have to give you a statistic right now that I'm proud of. Okay? <laughs> 750,000 people buy new skin products every single month. Does that make sense? Spending on average about 150 to 200 dollars, and they don't make any money here. They buy the products because they like the products. See, that differs greatly, in my opinion from a juice company that sells a juice for $50 a bottle that Costco then rips off and turns it into $5 a bottle. Okay? You can still get the same product, okay? you just don't have to spend as much money. If you don't have exclusivity, that's what you end up with. Well, again, major trend, anti-aging, exclusive products that you can't get anywhere else, still that represent a value in the marketplace. Okay? Because I don't care if you're exclusive and you're still not representing the value and you're too overpriced, people aren't going to pay it. Okay? So bottom line, people consume our products. Okay? We have real science behind our products and that's important for you to know. Because when Kenton was approached by Nathan and Ricks, okay, they had crossed paths in a previous life. Kenton had done some network marketing very successfully for another company that went out of business, stopped paying him his paycheck. 
Okay? And he tried to recruit Nathan, <laughs> of all people. So Nathan kept tabs on him and contacted him in 2003 and said, you need to do New Skin. You need to do New Skin. So you know a little bit of background of Kenton. Kenton was a millionaire and broke twice by the age of 30. Once in network marketing, okay, as a young man with a company called Nutrition for Life that's not around anymore. Okay, he opened up Korea in the Asian markets there, had enormous income, and all of a sudden the company couldn't fulfill the orders and they went bankrupt. Okay? And he also had a very successful wireless company. Okay, I think he bought a lot of the OmniServes, if you remember that name from back in the day. He was the largest uh, distributor for the Western United States for WorldCom. The problem is, is that WorldCom filed the largest bankruptcy, okay, an $18 billion bankruptcy, and Kenton was left pretty much holding the bag and lost that deal too. So I've known Kenton for 15 some odd years. He's been like a little brother. So I, I, I know him intimately very well in his stories. Okay? In 2003, he was somewhat broken. The bottom line is Nathan found him and said, you need to do new skin. But Kenton's smart. And so he questioned, why would I do new skin? Where is the opportunity for me? Nathan, you've already made $40 million. New skin's a dinosaur. Why wouldn't I go work in a startup? Okay? Why would I do new skin? And Nathan basically said, I thought you were smarter than that. You need to do your due diligence and really take a look behind the curtain. And the bottom line is, is that you will be doing new skin once you investigate what's going on. And he said, we have acquired a technology to be the only company in the world to measure okay, your health and wellness inside your body by measuring carotenoids, which is kind of the biomarker for antioxidants. He basically talked to about the introduction of this biophotonic scanner. When Kent did his due diligence and he decided to get involved in 2003. The important part is, is that within just a few years, Kenton became one of the top earners in New Skin. He's right here, okay? And today he generates, I don't know, 138,000. Is that what he told us the other night? 108. Well, I've seen 180, <laughs> but he said the average, to be fair, is like $138,000 a month residually from New Skin. Okay? Now that's pretty incredible if you think about it. The question is, how? Because I want a piece of that. The question is how? Well, so you look around here and you see all these people, just so you know, everybody starts out the same here. It doesn't matter where you came from. It doesn't matter what your belief system is. It really doesn't, well, that's probably not completely true, but I mean your religious belief. It doesn't matter what color your skin is. It doesn't matter what nationality you are. It doesn't matter what work experience you bring or education you have. This is the great equalizer. We all start the same. The coolest thing is, is that you cannot make it here unless you lift other people. You cannot make it here unless your organization and your network is successful with you. Not for you, with you. I love that.